Yo, we made it to Budapest. We took a two and a half hour train ride from Vienna on the OBB railjet. And we had our first dinner at Korheli. It's a Hungarian restaurant. We ate the beef soup with the oxtail and some vegetables and some homemade pasta along with the cheese covered pork tenderloin with some bacon and also we got the duck crispy duck leg with mashed potatoes so the meal was very good we also got dessert with uh, some chocolate souffle cake and it's basically like a chocolate lava cake uh, we would say one, this is one of the best meals we've had in Europe except for the duck leg was kind of salty otherwise everything was uh, you know tasted very good and it, the cheesiness of the pork tenderloin was especially memorable the city so far is very beautiful and the weather here is great we were walking in sunny weather and all of a sudden it started to rain really hard the Danube River in Budapest is huge it looks to be about three times as wide as the Seine River in Paris Budapest by the Danube is incredibly beautiful Save the best hotel for last. This is the Mystery Hotel in Budapest. It's a five-star hotel and we just got here. The room itself looks great. They also gave us some free fruit and chocolates. So far we're very satisfied with the hotel. Hopefully we can sleep well and the breakfast is good tomorrow morning. The breakfast in Mystery Hotel Budapest is fantastic. There's a wide selection of great tasting food. The hotel is basically perfect for us except for that they don't let you control the heating or cooling function in the room and also the bed sheets are a little bit uh, plasticky and hot. The first thing that stands out to us about Budapest is that there's a lot more trees. We also stumbled upon the Budapest Zoo. We couldn't resist going in because it was only $9 per person. It's not as well maintained as the Vienna Zoo but it's an enjoyable experience. What the zoo lacks in quality, it makes up for in quantity of animals. The zoo is turning out to be one of our best unexpected experiences in Europe. We followed up our zoo adventure with lunch at Paprika restaurant. We ordered uh, a fish soup and also a paprika plate for two people. The food was pretty good. Uh, the service was very rude. The server, the waitress, wanted us to like order more or something another drink or another salad but the food that we ordered was a lot of food like we couldn't even finish it and had to take it to go so we're not really sure why she was so rude to us but it seems like other people were having bad experiences as well budapest is so festive we also stumbled on a wine festival so we hung out the vibe there was awesome and we got a few alcoholic drinks along with some slushies there are so many random affordable activities to do in budapest it only costs nine dollars for 30 minutes of the paddle boat almost all the public toilets in budapest will charge you about one dollar per person the weather in budapest in the beginning of june is the best that we've experienced so far in europe this morning we checked out the Simpla Sunday Market. It's a small eclectic market with some live music and vendors selling vegetables and that kind of stuff. About five minutes down the street from the Simpla Market is the God's Do Market. It's a flea market with mostly handmade goods. They're, these markets are only open on the weekends and they're a good place to buy a souvenir from Budapest. We couldn't help ourselves but try another Thai restaurant in Budapest. This time it's Rim Tanon. It's a very small Thai restaurant and we got the uh, grilled pork, we got the Thai papaya salad and also we got uh, Thai boat noodle. Uh, all the dishes were very authentic, they tasted great and the food here basically is just as good as the food that you can get in California in terms of Thai food. So we're very impressed with the Thai food that you can get in Europe. The food at Rim Tanon was also ridiculously cheap. Our whole meal only cost $27. Inside of the Fashion Street District, there is a Monar's Kirtoskalash. It's a Hungarian chimney cake. 
This place adds vanilla ice cream to it and it's very sweet, but it's good. There are a lot of hilly, beautiful hikes on the Buddha side of Budapest. Budapest is easily one of the most beautiful and enjoyable walkable cities in Europe. The bike lanes are clearly marked and the sidewalks are large all throughout the city. New York Cafe, very beautiful but very expensive. Expect to pay $10 for a lemonade, $12 for a hot chocolate, and $14 for some cakes. There's some live music throughout the day so it's pretty worth it if you want to hang out. Central Market Hall is a good place to buy a souvenir in Budapest. We also got some food at Panorama Eaterum. We got the chicken paprikash, the uh, stuffed cabbage. The food was okay, it wasn't anything special. Uh, we took a ride up the Castle Hill funicular. It's uh, basically an escalator up the hill. It's quite expensive for what it is. It's like $5 per person and the ride is only about four minutes. And the view is okay if you take the bottom most room. We had to try a second pho restaurant in Europe. This time it's Dang Mui. We got the beef pho and also the uh, pork belly pho. And both of them weren't authentic pho, but they tasted amazing. The broth was super flavorful, but it wasn't salty. And the noodles were cooked perfectly. So the food itself isn't authentic tasting like we are used to in the Bay Area, but it was just so good. Did I mention that each bowl was only $6.50? We took a one hour sightseeing cruise with Portum Lines. The cruise was only $9 per person and it's well worth the price because they give you a free drink as well. The cruise, if you take it around 9 p.m., you'll be able to see the lights on the parliament building at night and it's very beautiful. Our final dinner in Budapest was Stand Eterum. It's a one Michelin star restaurant and we would say that this is by far the best Michelin star restaurant that we've ever had. Um, everything from the appetizers to the desserts to the main courses, I mean everything was at least very good and most of it was very memorable and seriously the desserts made me wanted to cry. I mean it was that good. So, I mean, I, I'm not gonna go through like all of this, the dishes in detail or whatever, but you know, I'm just gonna tell you that you should try Stand Eterum if you visit Budapest. It's worth the money. It's about $150 per person, but I, you know, it's worth every penny if you, inv if you enjoy food, you enjoy, you know, fine dining and kind of an experience that you can't really get anywhere else. So it's been a long 17 day trip for us. We're very grateful that we were able to take this trip and we were very grateful to be able to experience the world in a pre-COVID way. I mean, everybody is not wearing masks anymore, which might not be a good thing, but you know, we got to experience things the way that they were before COVID. And we're very grateful for it. I think this trip has been very, it's, I think it's our best Europe trip so far um, and Budapest has surprised us a lot. I think we very much enjoyed Budapest and we would consider coming back to Budapest. Uh, we wouldn't consider going back to Vienna and we would consider going back to Paris but I think at this point we really enjoy Budapest because of its walkability, its just beautiful vastness. and. Although some of the service in Budapest is kind of awkward and rude, I think some of the people we met were also very nice. Um, and so, you know, overall we uh, had a great trip and we hope you guys enjoyed watching us along the way. And yeah, thanks for watching us.